Alright, here we go. Mad Tech Industries, the official Cerakoter for Therapy Range. The coming ammo shortage, is it going to happen in the, the summer of love? It's coming right now. It's on right now. It's on like Donkey Kong. And if you're going to be tardy to the party, man, it's going to suck for you for the next year or so. Next year and a half, it's going to suck. If you enjoy shooting your guns, if you enjoy hunting, if you enjoy sports shooting, um, if you're a content creator like me, it is going to be rough for the next year and a half, year, year and a half. Why? Why are you why are you threatening me, Paul? Why are you why are you making me all nervous and upset and worried? But because it, it, we we've got more than a trifecta of things coming together to create the ultimate shitstorm for 2A advocates, for people that enjoy guns. You know, I've been saying for years, they don't have to come for the guns, they're coming for the ammo. If they cut off the ammo supply, you're fucked. You already can't buy American-made lead, all right? The only lead that's available out there to be used is what's already out there. Everything else is being imported from China or some other third-world shithole, all right? Oh, you can thank Big Mike Obama for uh, shutting that down during uh, Obama's EPA administration. They closed down all the lead smelting plants in the United States and started outsourcing that to other countries. So now to buy bullets... There is a major dependence on other companies. Same thing with other components because of the EPA regulations that go into making primers and powder. A lot of that is being imported now. It's not necessarily being made right here in the good old U.S. of A. Now, I'm not saying that there ain't no primers, that there ain't no projectiles, that there ain't no powder being made here in America because there is. Just not in a volume big enough to be able to even come close to keeping up with the demand of the civilian marketplace. So, what's going on? What is this big multi trifecta that you're talking about, Paul? Why are you getting my panties all bound up, Paul? All right, let's dive into it, okay? We've got a war going on in Ukraine that we just cannot stop spending money on. We've got a war going on in Israel. And you know how Americans love to throw money at Israel. So you've got two wars going on that are going to deplete a lot of our reserves in ammo. Well, may I rephrase that? Forgive me if all my incorrectness already has depleted our, our reserves of ammunition. And uh, now they're scrambling to make more, which is why Lake City Brass has canceled all commercial contracts. According to multiple news sources, the Lake City Ammo Plant has canceled all of its commercial contracts, which means all of the retail outlets that buy Lake City Winchester, better known as Winchester. You know, if for anyone out there that's not in the know, when you see Winchester White Box or Winchester 556, that's coming from the Lake City facility. More than likely, they have three facilities. That company has three different manufacturing facilities, but Lake City is uh, all 5.56. Five, That's all they make there. Huge facility, makes nothing but 5.56. Five, and now every single piece of it's going to the, uh, to the United States government. Wonder why they're ramping up on so much ammo all of a sudden. It's kind of freaky. So you got two wars. You've got uh, Lake City Ammunition diverting all of their commercial uh, ammunition contracts over to the military. You've got the Hornady Primer Facility on Friday, October 13th, an explosion at the Chemical Compounds Building at the Hornady Manufacturing Facility west of Grand, Grand Island, Nebraska, claimed the life of one worker. All right, so that is a primer facility for one of about 30% of the ammo out there. <laughs> you know, forgive me if my numbers are a little skewed. I didn't deep dive into it too much, but it is definitely enough to be concerned about. Um, 
And then I got this little piece that I found when I was looking it up. Ongoing conflicts might make for U.S. ammunition shortages. Well, there's no might to it, okay? The United States, the people of America own so many fucking guns that when, uh, when companies the size of Lake City and Hornady have to shut down or even stall manufacturing for even just a little while, it becomes a really big deal really fast. All right. So what do you do about it? What do you do now? All right, Paul, what do you do? You've got me all freaked out. What do I do now? You know, I waited too long. I don't have no ammo or I don't have enough ammo. What do I do now? The race is on, right? It is. It absolutely is. Right now, right this moment, turn the video off after you leave a comment and hit the share button and go get on and order some ammo before the prices start skyrocketing. Um, it's going to happen. It's already started to happen, okay? Uh, three weeks ago, I went to my local gun show, bought 1,000 round cans of uh, 9 millimeter for $200 flat. This past weekend, I went to the gun show, bought 1,000 round cans of 9 millimeter, 225 a flat. I'm going to the gun show this weekend. How much you want to bet they're 250 a flat? You can for a thousand rounds. I mean, I bet it's going to go up about 25 bucks a week all the way up until 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 it's fifty dollars a box, until it's a dollar a round. That that's that's where it topped out last time for nine millimeter. Uh five five six got up to right around two bucks a round. Ouchie, ouchie. Holy shit, $2 every time you pull the trigger. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. A 30-round magazine will cost you 60 bucks at 2 bucks a round. All right, the shit is coming. I'm not trying to fear monger. It ain't about scaring you and having you get all worked up and spend a bunch of money. If you haven't bought ammo to hold you over for the next year and a half, um, you're probably already tardy to the party, but... There are still opportunities out there. You can uh, pick it up from uh, your favorite website. You know, Palmetto State still seems to have a good inventory of ammo. Uh, your local gun and knife shows seem that they will have a lot of ammo for quite a while. Now, like I said, they're going to take advantage of supply and demand. So keep jacking the yak and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. This is your public service announcement from Therapy Range. Get your ass some ammo. If you don't have enough, to at least have like 300 rounds for each one of your primary weapons, then you have problems. You need to, you need to remedy that. And that's not for target practice. That, that's the ammo that you set aside. You're going to need other ammo for target practice. But a minimum, I mean, and, a, and when I say a minimum, I mean, you're starving at 300 rounds, all right? A minimum of 300 rounds for each one of your primary weapons. Rifle, shotgun, handgun. If you don't have that, then you know you're 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 really close to not having the opportunity to have that. So uh, hopefully the ATF don't get too mad at me. Uncle Joe doesn't uh, doesn't come down on me too hard. Don't beat me, Martha! Please don't beat me, Martha! Don't beat that tired old body! No, no. But uh, I just felt like it was a quick, easy video to put together and throw out and let the people that aren't paying attention. All you guys in the back, listen up. Therapy Range is trying to let you in on some special information that you probably, if you don't know, you need to know. And if you do know, good for you. Until next time, guys, live your lives to the fullest. Anything less is an injustice to yourself and every single person around you. I'm Paul Riley, and this is Therapy Range. We'll be seeing you guys again. Really, really soon. It's time to shut up and shoot. Go, bring my Chevy, you ready to ride it. Hi, here we go.